we did it. We did it. Let's go. Hey folks, Silk and Cord boss fight might be able to restore faith in penultimate trade bosses. Now let's break down the fight. The fight consists of two bosses, Takash the Spider and Anubarash the Scarab Lord. Uh, the bosses share HP, there's three phases, two intermission. And you'll, you'll see most of the abilities are like filler abilities, your run of the mill, you know, dodge frontal, spread with the circles, blah blah blah, all that stuff. However, there's one signature ability that each boss has that you have to know and it's really fun. Around 25 seconds into the fight, the cash will ca cast uh, web bombs. Uh, he'll drop it in the middle uh, of the room on the player, as you see there. Now, if anyone goes and touches the web bomb, it will, create, it will explode and it will bind that player to anyone within the 10, 10 yards of the, of the webs. Now, you want to use those webs to stop a, a reckless charge by a Nubarash here. So if you stretch two of the webs through the middle of the room and a Numbarash charges through them, it stuns in, uh, the boss and gives him like a 50% damage taken uh, debuff for five to six seconds. If you don't stop the Numbarash charge and don't stretch the webs, uh, two of the if you don't spread two of the lines and the Numbarash doesn't go through two, both of them, uh, he hits the wall and inflicts raid wide damage. Uh, which is, you can survive with defensive, but there's no need, reason not to, given that it's a very easy way to counteract with the ability. So, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's very fun. Uh, there's also the scarabs um, that Anubra spawns, they just fixate players. Uh, you, you can just run them through the boss and AOE them down or cleave them down. Not, uh, not, nothing too complicated. Uh, Anubra will charge the reckless charge twice. You can see here again, we spreading the webs, making sure Anubarash goes through them and he gets stunned and gets damage buff, uh, damage taken debuff. So yeah, it's pretty fun, uh, very visual. You can snap the, the webs if you have more people, for example, uh, chained together. Uh, you only need two sets of players. Now, the first intermission starts and it looks pretty cool. Now, so there's two things you need to do in this intermission. First, break Takash shield, and the sooner you do, the sooner the phase ends. And dodge this uh, web uh, piece of slices that he uh, drops on the floor. Now, they come in turns and they explode after a while. So you can just memorize which one was first one or the last one, and then just go in, uh, into that uh, safe space after the explosion happens. Uh, you see here we break the shield and P2 starts. Now in P2 the signature ability now is gonna be with Takash. Uh, he's gonna be casting you know, something special. You'll see he also retains this a mini web frontal from his intermission. It's not as dangerous, it's just a frontal, but it's just something to watch out. So again, roughly shortly into the P2, uh, Anubarash will cast Stinging Swarms. Now, it puts some insects uh, on three people. Three people get debuff. And it's a magical debuff that you will need to dispel. However, the way it works is that if you dispel, it jumps on a closest player or on a Takash. And you don't want to rush with debuff. When Takash teleports to the middle and starts casting Cataclysmic Entropy, you want those three people to go stand next to the boss and be dispelled. So the debuff, all those three debuffs, jump on Takash and interrupt his cast. Otherwise, it's a raid wipe. Um, yeah, the, again, similar to P P1, uh, he will cast uh, signature ability twice in this phase. Uh, again, some frontals, there's frontal from Anubarash, frontal from Takash. Uh, another ability that Takash gains is this uh, web vortex, is when he pulls everyone to him um, and actually webs people together, chains people with the same ability as P1. Now, you actually don't need the webs uh, in this phase. You can just snap it. However, you will need it in P3 when both bosses will start doing their signature abilities and you need to break both of them, uh, you know, one by one. So you see here again, Cataclysmic Entropy, Three people go in middle, make sure they stand close to the boss, get dispelled, 
So it does, so the debuff doesn't jump on some other player. It has to jump on Takash. Second intermission. But this is my fun part. So Anubarash gets a shield similar as Takash. You have to break it, and instead of like this web frontals, you get this spiky donuts, right? So it's a donuts donuts across the room. Uh, you have to dodge them. Uh, if anyone gets hit, uh, they get impaled. So you will need to free them, uh, which again is just a DPS waste. So make sure you just dodge them. Uh, they look incredible. And uh, yeah, uh, remember when this phase ends, Anubarash will retain a mini version of those donuts. So you will have to keep dodging even more stuff in P3. Uh, you see here, we should be able to break the shield anytime now. Yeah, we break the shield. And remember, P3, which means most of the abilities from P1 and P2 are now available in this phase, but not none of them were available at the same time. You basically had time to react to everything. You either had to deal with the Reckless Charge from Anubarash or the Cataclysmic Entropy from Takash. So it's only one like deadly ability at a time. Uh, yeah, but it was really fun. <laughs> There was some downtime in P3 for some reason you see here. Uh, so Web Vortex, again, you actually don't want to snap it here because when uh, Nobara starts charging his uh, Reckless Charge, you actually need those webs. Otherwise, it's, well, it's it's a red white damage. Yeah, you see here, people have the webs. They form nice lines. He charges through the lines, gets stunned. Boom, damage, damage buff. Um, and roughly another 20 seconds in, Takash will do his signature ability where, where we, uh, Anubarash will cast Ting and Swarm on debuff of three people and they need to be healed and then dispelled next to Takash. And that's pretty much the whole fight. Um, yeah, it's very exciting. I, I can't imagine how hard it's going to be on Mythic. Uh, I think even, even tweaking the timing and adding another another extra layer of things is going to be enough to make this fight incredibly difficult but also incredibly fun so let's say this is silken court uh, on heroic difficulty in a war within beta uh it's i i cannot hype it enough i i cannot wait for this fight um this this is this is incredible so far i i hopefully they don't mess it up so yeah Anyway, thanks guys for watching. Let me know what you think about this fight. Uh, and yeah, have a great day. I'll see you next one.